Anyways, this round, round two, also goes to Carlos De Jesus, so he won the first two rounds. This goes on the way it is, it's gonna be a pretty dull fight here. Now stools falling on the ground. Round three. De Jesus in the white trunks with the blue trim. And Cadiz with the white trunks and the black trim with his back to you. Crowd getting restless. They want to see a murder here. If not, I'm sure they'll swing some rope over one of these uh, plumbing pipes. We might even have a lynching here tonight. Now, De Jesus misses with an uppercut. This is getting to be a fight of pantomime, of mimes here, Polly, because nobody's coming within two feet of each other. Yeah, but I guess they're, they're, they're taking some swings. Now they're, they're taking some swings at each other. They're going to get them moving, which they need to do. they got to get some punches going, mix it up, and uh, they do some boxing out there. People are getting a little restless now. Yeah, yeah more punches land, I think, uh, between a, a, a stage Hollywood fight between two stuntmen than this one here. Carlos De Jesus. You can see the determination on De Jesus' face. You can also see that the countless scars on his face as well. Cadiz misses with a right hand. He, uh, he likes to throw those big overhand rights. Uh, most of them, uh, I think all of them miss. But when they're inside there, they're, they're powder punching, you know. As you can see it right now, there's nothing behind those punches. Ain't nothing in front of him either. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's turned into a, a slap fight in a schoolyard. They got to do something here. When you got a, when you got a fight like this now, you start you, you you don't get excited anymore. You start listening to the crowd and what they're saying and picking up their remarks. So you you know that things are dying out here, and something's gonna. Those two fighters got to do something to get the people back into the ring and their minds there. Absolutely. Uh, there's a left that just singes De Jesus. Cadiz has had a proclivity for ducking and throwing wild punches. And now he's slapped away by Paul Casey saying, stop that fight. Yep, yeah, a few good uh, swings in there made, but it misses again. And uh, it's still a boring fight to me right now. Uh, they're really not getting anything off. They're, uh, there's a good left hook and right hand that didn't land. But they, they, they got to get some punches going. They got to, it's a very, very dull fight right now, showing no ability at all in there. Both fighters are seasoned. Jason's yeah, got to mix, mix it up in there. He's not doing much at all. In my opinion, he's, he's, he's got to throw some serious punches, combinations, instead of one punch at a time. It's a, he seems to be measuring his opponent all the time. He's in the third round, still measuring. Maybe he's a tailor by trade, I don't know. But he's got to start stitching things up here, you know? It's a sleeper, Polly. I almost dozed off. Here's something to wake you up, though, huh? Hello, love. I can tell you one thing. She can start a lot of fights in this place. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you she will. I think wars have been fought over something like this. Well, round three goes to De Jesus. So De Jesus, there you see the red lamb lit, meaning the red corner has won the round. As we move to round four, I think the prevalent term being used here is boredom. Round four, De Jesus in the white trunks with Carlos De Jesus written across them in blazing blue letters. And Cadiz, Greg Cadiz from Hartford in the white trunks trimmed in black. Yep, they, there's a good punch there. It looked like it almost landed. The good effort made anyway. Cadiz got a very awkward style of boxing. He doesn't really get anything off with it. And uh, it's, 
it, believe me, it's a, it's a very depressing fight to me. It, it's, it takes away you even be able to, to be able to talk about it. You know. I think you'd see more contact in a fight in a nursing home than this one here. And not only that, with punches they're throwing, uh, it doesn't seem to have anything uh, viciousness or not. Now to Jesus. That was a beautiful hook that landed right there. Now that might get the, a good right hand there. Good right hand. Now you might get things going. This is going to get a little serious now. Daisy got hit pretty good there. Left hook and a beautiful right hand. He better, he can't take too many more of those. Of course, those are the only two good punches that landed. Well, he can't take too many more of those, but we can't take too much longer of this, so. <laughs> That's right. But you see, when a guy lands two good punches like that and does nothing, there's something wrong what's going on up there. You know what I mean? You land two solid punches, you stay right on top of your opponent. And they're doing nothing. Don't go away, folks. The round card girl is coming up in about a minute. <laughs> yeah, but she gets a she gets a rouse out of the crowd, doesn't she? It is Carlos De Jesus with his back to you versus Greg Cadiz. I'd like to know what happened to the hitman here tonight. Probably. I think they mean hit man because he hit man. <laughs> <laughs> he probably forgot to load up. Greg Cadiz absorbing the jabs of De Jesus. The wild right hand that almost knocked out De Jesus' glass eye. Oh man, they throw sledgehammers now, Polly. There they go. Come on now. Here's when they should start moving. They should be punching all the time. When you land good solid punches like that, you gotta stay on your opponent. But these guys land good punches and they back right off. Don't make any sense at all. And that's, uh, just gonna understand, them Connor should be telling these guys when they land punches, solid punches like that, staggering an opponent, you're supposed to stay right on top from there on. But you notice these guys just back right off. There's something wrong with that. I, I just don't understand this fight at all. Uh, I wonder if they're, no, I'm not even going to say that. But Pete, a special treat. Guess who's going to hold the, that's right, the round card girl. Big fan of ABTs. I tell my wife that when I come to these fights, there's no woman there, just men. That's right. <laughs> I, I guess I'm in trouble now. Or, or do what Peter says, John Horgan made me do it. Well, that round went to the blue corner. They gave it to Greg Cadiz. So round four goes to Cadiz. It is three to one as we enter the fifth round.